It'll be a very demanding day for everyone. Several mountain passes and a summit finish await you. This is a key stage for the general classification. You will have to be there on the final climb if we are to do well. We're able to follow the best and aim for top five. Have a good day, guys. Go! Go! Hello and welcome back to some more Tour de France 2020 in part uh, 16 of our playthrough today. We've got the 16th stage. There's only six to go, which is uh, amazing. We've got three uh, mountain stages in a row, which is, is basically going to decide where the yellow jersey goes, you would imagine. Uh, there's, there's a couple of flats at the finish, a very flat one there, and uh, obviously a time trial as well. Which is uh, which is going to be tough, but uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, we've had the rest day, so all of our riders are back up to full condition. I think you know we need to to start taking a few risks, and I think uh, today that risk is going to be Puel's uh, going out in the breakaway, trying to get right back into the uh, the general classification for him. That's got to be the plan, I think. Um, so finishing the first turn with Lander, first 20 with Puels, uh, breakaway with Toynes and Bill Bow. So yeah, it's whether we it's whether we actually attack with all three of those and and try and do something very Hello, different. Cycling fans everywhere. Today's profile creates an interesting strategic dilemma for both the favourites as well as those seeking stage victory. Is it best to wait for the final three kilometres and then give it your all to gain a few seconds? Or should an attack be... Right, so Toynes will tell him um, to attack and will tell Bilbao to Watched attack as well. Out on the Monte de Saint-Nizier du Moucherot, setting off a reaction in which everything could be lost. So here we go. We're off and running. Guys, it's a hilly start. The early breakaway should get away quickly, so it could be worthwhile getting somebody in there. Given the layout of the finish, it could go all the way. And if it doesn't work, it'll mean we've got some support up front in the closing stretch. That's good enough, lads. There's no way we can lose the green jersey today. It's good. So looks like one of our guys has, has come out. But it is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. Okay, so we've got twenty five seconds on the, the Peloton, it's not exactly much, but here comes Toynes as well, he's come to join us, so we're gonna have three of our folk in the breakaway which I think is is going to be crucial and uh, you know Puels if he can if he can make some time up today he could be a big big player obviously keep land out near the yellow jersey folk uh, tell Toynes to take his red gel and to um, continue the effort. Okay, yes. I'll consume a feed. So we've got a third class climb coming up. There he is. And uh, well, let's just go for work with opponents now. Ah, oh, come on! What happened there? Right, Puels. I mean, this is. Ridiculous! We literally just okay. I'll put in a big acceleration. A, a twenty-second lead with a, the the peloton, and uh, I fast-forwarded for From the town of Albi, a couple of seconds. And Jean is an attacking puncher who did not take long to get noticed. After a stage victory on the roads of the Tour of Spain in his first year as a professional, the following year he won a stage on the Tour de France. Right, One there minute goes for the It's looking good. So we've got 30 seconds to make up here. Not good. But 
hopefully we should catch up and uh, rarely spared by bat falls we'll be okay. in the Tour de France. Richie Porte is nevertheless one of the best climbers in the peloton. Here's the positions over the last climb. Well, first climb of the day didn't wield any points, but uh, we're okay. So, yeah, just definitely need to push on a little bit with these guys. Seems like Toynes and Bilbao have gone into the the peloton again, which is fine. It just means we're going to have to do the work ourselves with quells, but that's that's fine. So hopefully we can increase this gap a little bit. It's classified as a first category pass. There will be ten extra points to be picked up towards the polka dot jersey for the first one over the top. We can see we're just under three kilometres away from the top of this second climb and we've got a new man in the breakaway. It just wasn't working with Quells and I think I think the reason for that is that he's too good, if you like, you know. I think um, the yellow jersey man is wary of the fact that Quells could get right back into it with a big victory today. So the Pelton just keeps riding uh, to catch up to him. So it's a bit unfortunate, but it makes sense. We couldn't sneak away. Um, I mean, what we do want to probably look at is um, where everybody else is classified and whether we, we can get any of them back in it. I think Mahorich is probably our fourth place rider or third place rider that's the one kilometer line but at the very least he'll get some more points for the polka dot jersey which is good so we'll take a little bit of feed okay. so we're gonna stay well placed start going for it nobody else seems to be bothering there we go nice 10 points for Mahoric towards the polka dot that's a big help now time for Mahoric to have a bit of fun Coming down here, just regaining all his energy. I mean, what we probably want to do is is get everybody their their blue gel. It's just a shame, really, that we couldn't do anything with uh, okay, I'll consume a feed. with quells. And yeah, we just seem to be getting this buzzing noise and I'm not entirely sure what it is but it's only around certain riders I don't know whether their their bikes are you know glitching out the noise that they make but I'm hoping that it's just a temporary thing on this stage and it doesn't hamper us for the rest of the tour because that would be rather annoying but uh, let's see coming all the way back down now I've got two minutes on the Peloton here, so let's keep going. Oops, on the grass there. And they're just following Hermans. It must be that port guy, because uh, it's when he's near us that that weird noise happens. But uh, that was pretty much our biggest climb of the day. And came through that unscathed. Well, it's quite a big breakaway this 
So it's got a decent chance of going quite far. bit of piercing to be honest with you as we're coming down because A it doesn't use as much energy and B we're really getting a nice gap to that peloton so I'll put a bit of piercing our feed up because we are coming into the feed zone very very shortly so we got our blue feed all used which is nice so how long till our feed it's not not far and we've got another little downhill section to go before that so Something good. We've got nearly three minutes now on the peloton. And here's another little downhill section. Just to regain all that energy that we've just used. Yeah. Something good. There's the, front the feed of the zone. Race is now leaving and the Côte de Revel climb will soon be underway. However, before that, there's a visit to the feed zone. Okay, so we've got a second class climb coming up. And then uh, a little downhill section to get more of our energy back. Before the uh, time bonus first class classification climb and then a, a drop down and a little climb to the finish. That shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. You can see, this is where we grab our feed. The Côte de Revel nice. isn't particularly long, but it's steep. An average slope of 8%. That earns its second category label for the mountains classification. So, put in a little bit of pace. But not too much. Don't want to use too much of our energy. But uh, it's something pretty good so far. I mean, there's not really any reason not to, to sort of drop back into this group now. We've put in the pace. We've forced them to up their pace to stay with us. And we've now got four minutes on the peloton. So... The first rider yeah. to the top of the climb will pocket five points towards the mountain standings. Just makes me gutted that we couldn't make it work with Puels because he could have done with four minutes off the off the yellow jersey man, but there's no guarantee it'll stay like that. But, um, yeah, he's looking a little bit better now. Landers looking okay. I think what we might do is uh, set up our little um, a little chain of protection if you like um, okay I'll protect him just to try and keep Lander in the best possible shape because he is ultimately our yellow jersey hope but why is Cavendish uh, bolted there's no reason why Cavendish should be in that second group I mean Lander's there I, yeah, I guess. I guess that could be pretty useful. Um, I want him to go and protect Lander, but yeah, maybe not. So he can protect Lander, and he can protect Colbrelli, I suppose, but that's going to be difficult to to maintain that. Okay, I'll consume a feed. But if Lander manages to push on a little bit in that group, I could well get him back into things. 
And it's just become the Peloton again, so I don't think that led to anything. But not long to go up this climb. Get Mohoric five more points, hopefully. So 2.8 kilometers to go. I feel like we might as well fast forward it just a little bit. What's the worry you see there? They always seem to steal the march on us. So put in a little bit of pace. Not too much. Shouldn't have had the need to do that because we were near the front. It's going to have to take a bit of feed now. There's the finish line, so time to push. I think we've done it just about. There we go. Blew up slightly, but should be okay because we've got the downhill section to come. I'll take a bit of feed just to try and recover. So, want to stay with that group. Should be fine. I haven't got too long to go until that downhill section, so... Just got to be careful now, but we got the five points, which I guess is the, the main thing. It's still a little bit of an incline. Just gotta accept that we're gonna be 27 seconds off or something. Carl Brelli seems to have dropped. Well, that's okay. As I say, we just gotta to get to the top of this and then it's a nice downhill section. Might even be just after this. Whoops! Going on the grass doesn't help. There it is. Here we go. Get at least some of it back, which is nice. Just haven't got any pace, unfortunately. Come on. Come on. Go. Got a bit more momentum now. So we should be able to, at the very least, catch up to these guys, get our energy back, get rid of the bloodshot eyes. <laughs> downhill section coming ah very nearly hit the wall there okay so here we go we're back with the, the leaders now which is good and that means we can shield ourselves from the wind I think just get ourselves nicely in the middle of this group and things should be good oh thought that was definitely gonna be an incident with a the wall there and there you go four and a half minutes we've got on the pellet in here very impressive
So you can see we've got just less than three kilometers to go here up this first class climb. Mohoric is still up here. We're still two minutes ahead of the um, the peloton. So it's looking good at the moment for the stage victory. It is downhill after this. There's only a short climb to the finish. So it could be quite a big one for the uh, general classification. If only we could get Lander out of that peloton. I just don't think our guys have got enough energy to, to really pull that off. Um, I mean, we could could possibly look at it, um, you know, but we'll we'll just see, I suppose. But uh, Mahoric looking very, very good. He's coming past the one kilometre stage here. So here we go with Mahoric. Is he going to manage to to get it? Yes, he does. So now, now we have the the downhill region. The first riders come. have finished the climb. They've got less than 20 kilometers to go before the finish, and one last so. obstacle to be cleared: the short climb to Villar de Lance. So we've just got this little lip. To do and then there's a big downhill region so I think we want to get our guys to set a pretty high tempo now so I'm gonna say see if that works I'll relay Don't know whether it will. We just need to get out of here, don't we? Yeah, we don't want to blow up. That's the problem. I mean, we can take a load of red gel. There's no real benefit to keeping a, a load of that. So here we come. Hopefully down the mountain. Yeah, there we go, a little bit more energy. But yeah, they're putting in a bit of pace now. Trying to gap to us, I, I presume. I think just try and stay with the... Stick to the wheels of folk. Yeah, I don't think that's particularly working. Let's go 100. I'll make a big effort on the relay. Right, so we've reached the bottom of that downhill. Not far now to the end of the race it's pretty flat get the rest of our blue gel there are only 10 kilometers left to go and no one has managed to get away for the stage win Struggling now. Yeah. Let's just stick to the, the wheels in front. Try and get a bit of blue energy back before the end of this race. You can see that group of three with Malema. At the top with Wellens and uh, Posavivo. I'm not going to 
all right. Yeah, just wonder whether we should up their up their tempo a little bit. I'll go full out on the relay. I don't know whether that'll make them come out of the come out of the peloton or not. Not sure. It's just less than five kilometers the gap, before the I finish. Suppose. Well, five kilometers to the end now. Let me try and get a bit more energy. It's not going to be the worst climb in the world, is it? And now we're near the front. Three kilometers. Nobody has yet managed to gain the upper hand. So we got a couple of people ahead. So a look, we haven't actually the final started climb is it. On. A little more than two kilometers at eight percent. You know how to take a good dose of freshness to take on this steep slope. Yeah, it's not very far, but it's fairly steep. So, could actually throw the peloton pretty wide towards the end. There's the one kilometre line. I don't think Last we've kilometer. got enough. It will be decided in a sprint. Yeah, I think we just got to try and finish as well as we can right now. Where's Lander? No, why is he down there? Oh, well. I suppose nothing can be done. I'm just going to have to persist without limit. Wow, what a disaster. Understood. I'll take it easy, whatever happens. Don't want him to blow up and end up even further behind. There you go, there's Porter. So, Benut has won the, the stage, and I tell you what, he could he could be back in it for the general. There you go. Might as well start going for it. Could have afforded to go a little bit earlier, probably, but there you go. We have done it. And there's 3 minutes 41 off the top. This is a disaster. This is a real disaster. And definitely the final nail in the coffin, you would say. Try and get up the hill as much as we can. Shave as many seconds off as we can. And we do cross the line in the end, but not good enough for Lander to finish just ahead of Colbrelli and Cavendish is just not good enough. But yeah, still got a couple of guys to finish. There we go. Now what I'm interested in is how far Bernal finished behind Benut. Because Benut was only nine minutes behind, I think. Minutes ago, he was first across the the but Bernal still leading the way. Cavendish the there, Mahoric there. The usual gang. But... Uh, I think it's the final nail in the coffin for Mikel Lander. Unfortunately, I think we backed the wrong guy, really. I think Poels would have probably it been It was a, a stage on which we could better. really have shone. And we don't even finish in the top ten? It's a pity. We retain the green jersey. At least that's something. So there you go. Benut finishes 
how far ahead of Bernal a minute 50 so you know it's not not bad plus 10 seconds Fugel sang down there as well a lot of the big guys struggled um, Bill Bow was up there for us well done and Toynes as well good stuff for them and then of course we had Puels and uh, Caruso behind Landa 3 minutes 54 off the lead yeah definitely the final nail in the coffin for him so uh, let's continue on and you can see Landa down at 8 now yeah 8 minutes off I mean Puels is surely is surely a much closer option at this point yeah, I know he's three minutes back, but actually, you feel like you can do something. Mahoric, 21st, uh, Toyn's 30th. Pity about him early on as well. Caruso, 72nd, goodness me. But Mahoric, good day for him in the mountains. 40 points ahead of Valverde now. Uh, Cavendish is uh, pretty much 100 points ahead. Um... And the team classification, we're still somehow ahead. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. really does help out. It means a lot as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Tour de France content. Only uh, five more to go. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.